When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. <laughs> Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to oh Vitor. Oh gosh. See, Shepard just gets thrown into all this shit she has to deal with. It's like... Mm. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the far side. So not cool. Wait, you know what? I didn't. I haven't checked. Is I do have all my other weapons. Awesome. See, I, for some reason my aim is really sucking today, so I'm just gonna Be careful, go with it. The... There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of them. go with my SMG because it's... My compromise! Whoa! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> that was... That was almost like, um, those damn Thorian creepers. Alright, we should see. Alright. Use overload on it. Whoa, what ho who can have? Alright, so these guys have shields, as you can see. That means I have to go through here and try to remember which ones are good against shields. Very effective against shields. Okay. One last. Yeah. Ow. You know what would be nice? Yeah. Oh shit. No, I used the wrong. Damn it. I used the wrong. Yeah. Enemy down. Enemy down. Damn it. We should have expected this. Come on, we can still catch them. Oh! Right! Crap. No. <sighs> See, the thing about hitting E while in combat like this is now he's gonna be sitting there like that and not follow me. See, he's staying behind. Ah! <sighs> Moving to cover! So I'm gonna have to keep commanding him to follow me. Unless any PC player wants to tell me how the hell I get them to stop just Moving. doing that and follow me. Because <laughs> you can't control it from here like you could at, in Mass Effect 1. So... Oh, 
Vitor reprogrammed the heavy mech. It's tearing Praza's squad apart. They did want to get to Vitor first. Get your oh, squad into cover and I'll open the loading bay doors. It did it we'll again. take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Going to cover! Grabbing cover! Taking cover. This is going to be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Ah, oh, they're not so hard. Wait, so it's... Especially if I do this. Okay. Well, now the shields are down because I'm just so awesome like that. Alright, so what... Weak against armor. I suppose I could grenade it. I actually never really went into using the heavy. Come on, get over here. Damn it, I don't think that really worked. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> this is scary. Oh my god, no, go around, 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 around. No, oh god. What the hell is going on? My hot. thing just, okay, we're okay, we're okay. My thing just like freaked out. I don't know if it was a frames that just like died and then it freaked out. I don't know, but. Suddenly I couldn't tell what I was looking at. Okay. Now that I'm just. Okay. We can use this. All right. So you haven't looked over here. I'm not. I think Telly's over here, but I'm not entirely sure. There's something in here. Okay, so there's Telly. Hold on. This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded shepherd. He's probably somewhere in the back of the loading bay. Right, send the Cerberus operatives to go get the guy who's all paranoid about enemies. <laughs> Wouldn't think that maybe he'd react better to a familiar face. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Have to hide. Mechs will protect. <laughs> Human? What 
did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The... the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. So that's another thing that is new to Mass Effect in the second game, is that you have like these periods of time where you can like interrupt someone with a Paragon or Renegade action. I like it. Though it's sometimes I don't really want to do it because then I want to see what happens if you don't interrupt them. <laughs> but, oh well. We're not survivors, Vitor. We just got here. You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? There are species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the monsters take you away. Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds. Machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you. Then they sting you. Freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. I want to know more about the Collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. <laughs> you, like, you will shit bricks when you find out where they're taking humans. That's not until the very end of the game, though, that you find that out. But seriously, you will shit bricks. <laughs> what happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni-Tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I'm still trying to accept that you're even alive, and you're with Cerberus. I've got responsibilities now. I've got a mission of my own. I can't walk away from that. Not even for you. Man, she's a little hostile, isn't she? He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omni-Tool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data. 
but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the collectors. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. You know what? I don't know if you're getting this with the recording, but I, I noticed that the audio is not necessarily skipping, but it's making these weird popping noises. I don't know how to describe it, but sorry if you're getting that. I'm not sure why it's doing that. That's never happened to me before while playing this game. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? <laughs> Once again, you will shit bricks. <laughs> what are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and work groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the Collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. <laughs> Or so they think. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Where's Caden Alenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Where's Liara Tissoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. <laughs> yeah, Liara has changed a lot. Just wait till we find her. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. I'm still a Spectre. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you could convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. You worry about the Collectors, I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. 
Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker Swarms. I haven't even started and you're telling me what to do? I'm giving you direction. What you do with it is up to you. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. All right. What's the other thing? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. <laughs> Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded.